serious one first. So the, <coughs> I should do the serious ones. All right, this poem's called um, Dude, Where's My Soul? <laughs> <laughs> Waking up sucks in the morning. You feel like a vampire at dawn. Except I drink coffee, not blood. I don't have fangs, and I'm not really a vampire at all then. I think I have a soul. Maybe I'm not sure. I wish I could see it floating inside my chest, like a goldfish in its bowl. And if souls were like goldfish, would you remember to feed them? Or would you let your cat eat them? <laughs> would you let your tubby tabby sink his claws into your chest and eat your soul, all vampire-like? <laughs> and what would a soul taste like? Like sushi, maybe? <laughs> Something tough, but good for you. And souls are good for you, that's what everyone says. But question, how do you know if you have one? <laughs> well, you know. Alright, I'll do the other one now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feedback. Nobody likes feedback. Uh, they told me to make my poetry bigger, so I printed on A1 paper. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to make my poetry faster, so I tied it to a full speed jet ski and set it off down the motorway. <laughs> After getting my poems back, they told me to make my language more exotic, so I wrote my poems in ancient Mayan mirror writing. <laughs> They told me to make my poetry more colourful, so I doused it in red paint. <laughs> they told me to divide my poems more neatly, so I took out the samurai sword and cut them in two. <laughs> they told me to make my language more fiery, so I threw my poems on the Guy Fawkes bonfire. <laughs> they told me that my poetry sucked and that I should jump off a cliff, so I told them to get stuff. <laughs> they told me if I thought I was a poet, I should perform at Brewhouse, so I... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs>